Today we're going to discuss the solar system. So the solar system is given the name solar system because it's all about the sun, soul, and the stuff that goes around it. Okay, so what goes around it? We've got planets, right? We've got some moons. So uh, the first two planets don't have moons, but every other planet after it does have moons. And Saturn has a ton. Jupiter has a ton of moons. But there's also asteroids, which are rocks that go around the sun. And there's comets, which are like these icy asteroids that you can think of. And they have these tails because the sun's solar rays are going to be causing this tail to kick out into existence. But we'll just be focusing on this. So what is wrong with this image? The planets are way too close together. Um, they're actually really, really far apart. If we look from Earth up at the planets without a telescope, they just look like bright stars out there. And they're wandering stars. So throughout the year, they appear to move. And that's because they are moving. They're moving around the sun. So. This is the reference table page for solar system data. It looks really, really complicated, but I want to focus on the main words at the top here. So each box at the top here. And to notice that we have the sun on here, we have Earth's moon, and then we've got the eight planets all the way from Mercury to Neptune. So let's focus on the vocabulary. Celestial object. Celestial just means space object. So a space object is something huge that's out in space or big and out in space. And that includes the sun, the planets, asteroids, comets, galaxies. These are all celestial objects. Mean distance from the sun. If you drop the word mean, which just really means like average, uh, distance from the sun is going to be in millions of kilometers. So Mercury is the closest to the sun, so it's got the least distance. Neptune is the furthest from the sun, so it has the most distance. Period of revolution. Period in school. Our periods last 42 minutes. But a period is just an amount of time. So it's the time of a revolution. A revolution is to go around the sun. So the amount of time it takes for an object to go around the sun, the closest you are, the faster, the further you are, the slower. And period of rotation is the same idea, but to spin on an axis or a day. So a revolution has to do with a planet's entire orbit around the sun, so its year. Earth's year is 365 days. And a period of rotation is how fast it takes to spin on its axis. For Earth, that's one day, or about 24 hours. Okay, so to spin on an axis. There's Jupiter spinning on its axis. The other vocab has to do with different terms, like eccentricity of orbit. So eccentricity of orbit just means how flat the orbit is. A circle would not be eccentric. An orbit that's like an oval or an ellipse is very eccentric. Equatorial diameter, just as really the diameter or the distance from one, one edge to the other edge of, well, not edge, but one end to the other end of the equator of a planet, moon, or the sun. And then mass is going to be how heavy it is, and density is going to be whether it sinks or floats in water. Now, planets, you know, they're too big to be put in water, but the idea is that if it's made of gas, it's a low density planet. If it's made of rocks, it's a high density planet. Okay, so scientists decided to make two groups of planets. We've got the first four, which are our terrestrial planets, which are made of rocks. And then we've got our second group of four, which are our far planets from the sun, and they are made of gas. They are called Jovian. So terrestrial are going to be the rocky planets. The gas planets are Jovian. All right, so I remember that because we're broken into two groups. So remember, the sun is not a planet, it's a star. Earth's moon is not a planet, it is a moon. So let's cover those up. And I like to say J for Jupiter. So Jupiter and all these other ones are Jovian because J for Jupiter, Jovian for Jupiter and the rest. These first four, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are going to be our terrestrial planets. So let's mark that. Terrestrial are the first four, Jovian are the second four. So there's our grouping. Earth is a terrestrial planet, third distance from the sun. So why isn't Pluto a planet? It's a good question. So, if we look at these 
groups of planets. We've got our terrestrial planets in the beginning. These are rocky, small planets with short revolutions or short orbits. The Jovian planets are far from the sun. They are low density and they have long orbits or long periods of revolution. Pluto is all the way out here. Pluto is a rocky planet, right? So rocky planets are like this group, but it's not even close to these groups. It's closer to the Jovian planets, which are gaseous. Pluto is also going to have a long period of revolution, which is like a Jovian planet, but it's made of rocks. So the point is that terrestrial planets are a group of rocky planets close to stars. Jovian planets are a group of gaseous planets far from stars. So Pluto was put into a dwarf planet category, which is like its own group, which includes Maki Maki and Eris and a couple more other in the Cupier belt. Uh, which is just a group of rocks and comets that exist really, really far from the sun. And these just happen to be large, large uh, celestial objects that are, f uh, sorry, compared to the Cupier belt. Uh, but these are like small objects that exist out far away from the sun, made of rocks. Okay, cool.